I never wanted to be that guy who went, oh man, I don't want to go to work today. Oh man, I got to wake up in the morning. For me, uh, business is not just about making money. Uh, money does give us the ability to do a lot of other things in life for sure. But we need to be a good corporate citizen. My passion is, is to have the audience walk out touched or moved or, or bettered in some way. People say, oh, you put a lot of shackles on yourself, how, you, how you're uh, setting up your research, but it really focuses the mind. It says, okay, here's my limitations and I need to look and solve this problem. We say one company, two divisions, one mission. And our mission is to change the world, to make it a better place. AMG is really two separate companies. It's AMG Entertainment and it's AMG Energy. AMG Energy is a completely different style of company than the entertainment side of things, and we run them completely separate. The principles of business are the same, it's the product that's different. We know where we're going. That's one thing that this company is probably the best at. We talk, we talk through stuff. At the end of the day, we're all going in that same direction. We put together a really uh, nice board of directors that is a nice mix from the entertainment industry with Ron Logan, former executive vice president of Disney, to Joe McNanny, uh, one of the owners and executive vice president of Cellmark, a very large private company. Single-handedly, we have one focus, how to create brands, franchises, and play in an industry that is now a full global opportunity. AMG's involved full circle, live shows. We have AMG Live. The nice thing about live is the first one out of the box, if successful, it'll start making noise and really put ourselves on the map. Film distribution and restaurants, you have to have the bricks and mortars. As we release a film in, say, Charlotte, North Carolina, and we have restaurants in Charlotte, North Carolina, then those restaurants would be branded with the release of the film, uh, from the placemats to the cups to the kids' meals and so forth. Then the record labels. AMG television, reality shows. Our concept was to create the World Cup of music reality television and literally pit China against Japan, Korea against Venezuela. And of course, the two areas of movie making, which is Mark uh, with Prelude Pictures, who's doing the big budget movies. I myself am involved with the animation side. We've got quite a couple of new animations that we're working on. One is African Tale. One guy once told me, a single movie can affect a teen's life forever. Movie making has always been a way of reaching people. The most difficult question I get is uh, energy and entertainment? What is that all about? My partners and I were really focused on getting uh, AMG Entertainment up and running and out of nowhere came this scientist, Richard Blair from UCF, and actually um, we spent many, many months trying to kill the deal. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm on my Blackberry underneath the table and I'm, you know, texting away. And uh, one of the scientists uh, said very, very seriously, at the end of the day, we can make sugar for about five cents a pound. That resonated with me. A couple of years ago, Congress, in their infinite wisdom, passed a, a law called RFS, Renewable Fuel Standards. In a nutshell, it requires the blenders of fuel to add ethanol to fuel. Along with it, and it was buried deep in the law, and a lot of folks didn't realize, there was a mandate that the blenders, the same folks that have to use the ethanol, have to get a certain number of gallons of their ethanol from non-food source product cellulose product. Well, the only problem with that is the technology didn't exist. Richard Blair, who's a scientist at UCF, and he was working with JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratories, in NASA, and actually created the, the energy source on the rover. He's sitting there cutting paper up and taking wood chips and puts it into this ball mill that looks like a soup can and spins these metal BBs around in it. I remember him saying these words, gentlemen, what you're about to see is a world changer. On a small scale, this is 
where we did all our, our preliminary research. This does, it's a little guy I can fit in my hand, and in a half hour, I can convert any cellulose into a measurable, actually quite a bit amount of sugar. The principles and technology that work for this work on the large scale. The world is never going to look at sugar the same. When you pick up a napkin, you're going to think, well, that's sugar. From non-food source. Non source. It does not matter what the feedstock is as long as it has a cellulose content. There are other competing technologies out there, but all of them require uh, an intensive capital. And they're not very environmentally friendly. The whole purpose of this is to create an environmentally friendly fuel. What we have here is a chemical catalyst that uh, can be recycled. AMG Energy really gives us the ability to venture into a different world from a financial standpoint, from an economic stability standpoint, but it also insulates us from the ups and downs that the entertainment industry goes through on a regular basis. What we want to be able to do is control our own destiny. We want to be able to make decisions and green light the picture we want to green light. When we open a restaurant in a small town in the Midwest, we're not going to just be there selling food and collecting money from the local folks. We're going to be involved in the community from a charity standpoint. We're going to be hiring locally. We're going to be buying locally. And we're going to be doing everything that we can do to support the local community. We're going to be doing that all across the board in AMG. From energy to entertainment, we're on the cutting edge of creating an unbelievable company. This is not a job. This is not even a career, this is a passion. A passion to make a difference. You know, everybody talks about save the planet, save the planet. In reality, the planet will be here for a million years after we're gone. This is save us.